Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. What I thought I'd show you really quick is a pretty cool concept. I was posting some things about these wooden pulleys that I had made uh, last year or year before on a page on Facebook called the Bushcraft and Survival Tribe. And I had used these pulleys in the video that I made to lift an anvil and stand off the ground in my overhang. And Tyler White, one of the admins, I think the owner of the page actually, had asked me, he said, I wonder how that would work in a Z-drag scenario. So I thought I would set that up today and pull my four-wheeler up a slight incline in the woods to show you that it does work. So let's talk about how this is set up first, and then I'll give you a demo of pulling this four-wheeler. Okay, so we've got our wooden pulley here, and the first thing we need to do is attach it to a solid object. You can do that with anything you want. I used paracord, and I'll tell you why I used paracord here in just a minute. And you're basically going to create a cat's paw to hold that pulley in place so that it can spin freely within that cat's paw and it spins freely on this axle. The axle doesn't have to turn for the pulley to turn. And you wanna make sure that that is as even as you can get it. And I talked about how to make this cat's paw in the original video. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of rope and tie it to the object that you wish to pull and then you're gonna come in and tie a line, another piece of paracord. And again, the reason I used paracord was because it's a different diameter and I'm using a Prusik knot. Prusik knots work best on two different diameters of cord, but it's easy enough to use paracord as a ridge line and use Prusik knots and it stays pretty well. But when you really want that thing to bite into the mantle of the rope, it's better if the rope is a larger diameter and the cord you're using for the Prusik knot or the Prusik loop is different because then you can slide it up and down the rope and when it pulls from the opposite direction you can see that loose tag doesn't even matter when it pulls from this direction it locks itself into the rope so that it can't slide up the rope that piece is then brought down and another cat's paw is put in that piece and the rope is put through that pulley so what happens is the rope comes from the object here up to the first pulley on the tree comes down and is threaded through another pulley almost exactly like a block and tackle on the horizontal really and then you just pull from this direction which slides the two pulleys closer together and pulls the weight up and when you get the pulleys close together like they are now you would slide the prusik down the line now in this case this line that the prusik's on is a little bit long but i pulled it from a long distance away probably 20 feet, something like that, maybe 15, 20 feet. And now you would have to either shorten that rope a little bit to get these things further apart or slide it down further toward the object. But I'm almost out of room on the object down here. So I'm not going to be able to do that. If I wanted to continue to pull this, I would have to shorten this up. But generally speaking, unless you're using this for rescue, to pull someone from a rescue scenario like a swift water rescue or something like that you're just pulling a vehicle out of a ditch or out of a hole you're not going to have to move it that far to get it freed up with a four-wheel drive will work anyway but i wanted to show you this video today and give tyler white credit for the idea it's basically a block and tackle on the vertical and it's or on the horizontal excuse me and it's called the z drag 